First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. Unbelievably painful. Hey guys, and welcome back to Interactive Big Brother. This is episode 10, and we are on day 16. Eric got evicted last night, and we are down to six housemates. So let's see what this week is going to bring for the final six. So it looks like Everly and Ken are already up, and so is Nayeli. So Ken is just cooking some breakfast. What is Everly doing? Is she getting in on the flirting already? Yeah. Everly is straight in there like Alessa could have gone last night and Everly's straight in on that flirting. What is she like? Everly's properly going for it this morning and Delaney can see what is going on. I don't know if she likes it. I think Delaney's rooting for Ken and Alessa to get together. So I don't think she likes that Everly's flirting with Ken right now. Especially because Ken found that really awkward. Yeah, Ken's not enjoying it. I think Delaney is telling Ken that he shouldn't be flirting with Everly, even though he's not. She knows Ken just needs to go after Alessa. Oh, and Alessa is up. I'm so glad she missed all of what was just going on there. <laughs> oh, I think Delaney has gone over to tell Alessa what she just seen. Okay, so that's like a little bit awkward because Alessa clearly is friends with Everly. And now Delaney's like throwing a spanner in the works. I think she's trying to turn people against Everly now. And Phineas is here overhearing everything that's going on. But I think Alessa's a little bit annoyed. I think she's going to have words with Everly in a bit. Or maybe Ken. Awkward. I think Phineas is explaining the situation to Delaney, saying that it's just a joke. But I don't think Alessa is thinking it's a joke. How's she feeling? She's feeling tense. I don't think she's happy with this. Where is Everly? Oh, and Evelyn's outside of Ken. That's, like, even worse. They're not really chatting, though, to be fair. They're just, you know, lying in the pool. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. Oh, and there's an immunity challenge starting tomorrow. Oh, okay, and Nayeli has also joined them all in the kitchen. I'm so glad she's cleaning that stove because that's looking disgusting right now. Where's Alessa going? Oh, I think she's going up to Ken. Oh, and Nayeli's thanking Everly for helping them work through the relationship with Delaney. Yeah, I think Alessa wants to know what Ken's doing. Oh, and Everly's leaving because of how awkward it is. Awkward. Did you see that look she just gave Alessa as well then? I think she's waiting for Everly to be out of earshot. And I think she's telling Ken not to flirt with Everly or to even consider the idea of it. What are they talking about in there? Oh, uh, I think Everly is mentioning the fact that Alessa just came over. I don't know if Everly's just joking with her flirting or if she's also serious about Ken or not. Like, I really don't know. It's a bit of an awkward one, especially with the whole Delaney and Phineas thing. So I don't know if this is a similar situation or not. It's still really weird only having six housemates to look after now and not eight. Like, I feel like the house is already super quiet. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Delaney's flirting with Phineas again. And Nayeli's got a knife, so <laughs> she should be careful. Not that, like, I condone stabbing or anything. Delaney, would you please come to the diary room? Oh, and Delaney's just been called to the diary room. Let's see what's going on in here. Hello, Delaney. Before entering the Big Brother house, you agreed to abide by the Big Brother rules regarding physical contact. Since entering the house, you have broken these rules by pushing Nayeli while having a disagreement in the garden. You have let yourself down. You have let Big Brother down. But most importantly, you have let your fellow housemates down. As a result of this rule break, all of your fellow housemates will face the public vote this week. You, however, will be the only housemate who will not face eviction on Friday. You may now leave the diary room. So it seems like Delaney can't face the public vote this week and the others can. The others don't realise at the moment that they are all facing the public vote. So we'll find out how they all react later on. They may not even find out for a few days though. Just to, you know, keep them all guessing. Oh, and look, Delaney is chatting to Phineas once again. Where is Nayeli? If I was Nayeli, I would be around Phineas 24-7. <laughs> I don't think Phineas is going to tell Nayeli because he just knows it's going to cause more trouble. It looks like Delaney is really tense. I think it's because she knows what's going on. I don't know if she's going to tell the housemates or if 
She's just going to wait for Big Brother to tell them. Would all housemates please gather on the sofa? Okay, so it looks like Big Brother has called all the housemates over to the living room. Let's see if they head there. And here comes Alessa. Let's get them all sat down. Housemates, due to a rule break by Delaney nominations this week have been cancelled. The housemates facing eviction this week are Alessa and Everly and Phineas and Ken and Nayeli. At least one of you will be leaving the Big Brother house this Friday. Oh, how is everyone feeling about that? Nayeli doesn't seem to care. Oh, uh, and Delaney's gone to the bathroom because of embarrassment, I think. Oh, I think Everly's asking Phineas what he thinks about the whole Delaney thing. I don't think Nayeli's going to be happy about it. Especially because this will be the first time that Nayeli's up and it's all down to Delaney. Oh, they need to be quiet if they're talking about Delaney. She's in the other room. Okay, they quickly changed the subject just in time. That would have been awkward. I wonder if Alessa's going to tell Delaney. I think they get along, but I'm not sure if Alessa will tell Delaney. Just yet, at least, anyway. She may do. Who knows? I feel like this is where all the backstabbing and bitching is starting to show in the game now. And Alessa's the only one who's been up in the house so far that's remaining. So I think she's going to be pretty chill. She knows what's going on. And Delaney is just chilling in the pool now. I think she's trying to stay out of everyone's way for a little bit. Because it is her fault that everyone else is up. Awkward. It's kind of Nayeli's. But, you know, technically Delaney's. It's like eerily quiet in the house as well. Everyone's chilled. They're not doing much. I wonder how Evelyn and Alessa are now. Especially after earlier. Oh, I think Evelyn's telling Alessa that the whole thing was a joke with Ken and that they probably shouldn't worry too much. I don't think she wants to get on Alessa's bad side. Especially because, like, Evelyn's up for eviction. She needs to, like, rein it in a little bit. Oh, and Delaney's getting involved. I don't think Delaney believes Evelyn in what she's saying. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, and Alessa and Ken are alone in the kitchen. Oh, Delaney, why'd you have to come over? Oh, there's a bit of flirting. Just as Everly comes over as well. Everly, why are you there? Just let them flirt. Oh my God, really? Really, is everyone coming over now? They can't cut a break, these two. They're never going to be alone, I swear down. But I think they're being a bit more open with their flirting now. What's Phineas doing? Phineas looks a little bit upset. Because he sort of bottled it a little bit with Nayeli as well. Oh, I think Phineas is finally flirting with Nayeli a little bit more again. I don't think Nayeli's accepted it. Oh, I don't think that went down well. I don't think Nayeli's used to having love around her, which is why she's super uncomfortable by all this. Oh, she's just gone straight to the swimming pool to be alone. Oh, that's really awkward. Phineas needs to find the right moment to flirt with Nayeli, otherwise he's not going to win her over. I think Alessa's probably explaining that to Phineas as well, how he needs to pick his moments. Take Alessa's advice. He thinks he can just flirt, but like, sometimes you can't. You do need to do it at the right moment. How's everyone else? I think everyone else has gone to sleep now. It's just these two and yeah, just Nayeli who's awake, just in the swimming pool still. Anyway, I think we will cut to tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in one second. So it's now Sunday in the house, day 17. It looks like Delaney and Ken are the first ones awake. Who else is awake? Everly is. She's just having a chill in the swimming pool. And it is also the immunity challenge day. So you thought I was checking you there. You thought that they're all going to be up. There may be a chance for one housemate to gain immunity from eviction this week. But it is also a competition challenge where the prize could also increase again so at the moment we are on one expansion pack and a game pack so if they win this immunity challenge slash prize competition then we will add a stuff pack so they will win a full bundle the people that are playing this they don't know that they could possibly win in this yet so surprise <laughs> So we'll start that in a couple of hours. But for now, let's just see what everyone else is doing. 
Oh, so Delaney, Ken and Alessa are in the kitchen. Delaney's probably just telling Alessa and Ken that they should probably make out right now. I mean, Ken's flirting a little bit, so, you know, it's going well. Like, Alessa's in a flirty mood, you know. It could be the day that it all happens. They may kiss, they may not. Who knows? I don't. Literally, I have no idea if they're going to be kissing or if they will. Or, you know, who knows? Who knows? They never seem to do what I want them to. Oh, and Evelyn's a little bit stressed out. Oh, Evelyn is not having a good day. And where's, oh, Phineas and Delaney. They need to, like, have some eyes on them, keeping them apart. I don't think Nayeli and Delaney have actually spoken since the other day as well. So, you know, slightly awkward. So the task room has now been unlocked, ready for the housemates to start their immunity slash competition challenge. So let's send them over there now. So all the housemates are heading to the task room. So here is this week's task. Let's wait for them to all get in and I will explain to all of them. So as you will see, there are five spaces on the floor, all numbered one to five, one being the most and five being the least. So this week's challenge is a ratings challenge. So what the housemates have to do is rate themselves and each other on a scale of one to five in several categories. As Delaney is obviously not up for nominations this week. She will not be participating in this challenge. She will be doing the prize part of this challenge. So the other five are competing in the immunity challenge, while Delaney will be doing the prize challenge. So Delaney, you need to head to the diary room now, and then we can explain what is going to happen fully. Perfect. So basically... In each round, the housemates will have to decide between themselves where they rank on a scale of one to five. Delaney, on the other hand, she has to guess what she thinks the housemates have ranked themselves. Because that is quite a hard task to do, all she has to do is correctly guess the most, so whoever's in rank one, and the least, whoever is in rank five. If she manages to get out of a total of 14 correct answers, if she gets more than 50% right, so at least eight or above, then I will be adding a stuff pack in to the grand prize. The contestants don't know about this, so this is the first time they're finding this out. Okay, so let's begin. Will housemates stand in the order of intelligence? So, Evely is ranked 1, Ken 2, Nayeli 3, Alessa 4, and Phineas is ranked as the least intelligent. So, let's go and see how Delaney has done. Delaney, who do you think is the most intelligent housemate, and who do you think is the least intelligent housemate? I think the most intelligent housemate is Evely, and the least is Nayeli. So, Delaney has so far earned one point. Let's head back to the task room. So for round two, housemates have to decide who is the most and least attractive. Let's see what they think. Ooh, so Phineas has gone up and everyone else has gone down except for Everly. So Everly's number one, Phineas number two, Ken number three, Nayeli four, and Alessa is in fifth place. So let's see what Delaney thinks. Delaney, can you please tell us who you think the most and least attractive housemates are? I think Finn is most attractive. Anneli is least attractive. Oh, unfortunately, Delaney got that wrong. Her love for Phineas clearly got in the way there. Let's head back over again. Housemates, can you please decide on who you think is most and least trustworthy. Get in positions now. Oh. So, most people have stayed in the same place. Alessa 
is deemed most trustworthy and Nayeli is deemed least trustworthy with Everly dropping down to fourth place. Let's see what Delaney thinks. Delaney, who do you think is the most and least trustworthy housemate? Alisa is the most trustworthy and Everly is the least. Oh, you were so close, but you did get one correct. So that is another point added onto the total. You're six away from winning a stuff pack. Housemates, please decide who you think is most likely to be nominated. Oh, okay. So, obviously, Alessa hasn't moved. So, most likely to be nominated is Alessa and least is Everly. That doesn't surprise me about Alessa. She was up for nominations last week, hence why she stayed there. And Everly seems to be the favourite. So, everyone thinks that Everly's not going to be nominated, I guess. Let's see what Delaney thinks about this. So, Delaney, who do you think is most likely and least likely to be nominated? Alisa is most likely to be nominated. Everly is least likely. So, you got both of those correct. That is another two points. We are on four points now. Let's head back and see what the next ranking is going to be. Housemates, please decide on who you think is most considerate in the house. Oh, so Ken is more considerate than Phineas and Evely is slightly more considerate than Ellie. And Alessa, once again, is most considerate housemate. Let's see what Delaney thinks about this. Delaney, who do you think is the most and least considerate housemate? Alisa is the most considerate. Nayli is least considerate. And once again, she got both of those correct. So that is another two points for the house. So I think that's six points so far. We just need two more points to win a stuff pack. Let's head back over to the task room once again. So for this round, the question is, if all of you were up for eviction, who is most likely to least likely be evicted? Let's see what they think. Oh, so again, Alessa is in first place. Everly's gone up to third place. And Phineas is five. So Phineas is the safest housemate, it seems. And again, let's head over to Delaney. And Delaney, the same question to you. Who has the most and least chance of being evicted. Alisa has the most chance of being evicted. Everly has the least chance. So Delaney has earned another point for the house, guessing Alessa correctly. And let's head over to the task room one final time for the final question. And for the final question, who has the most chance of winning Big Brother? Let's see where they will go in. So, Evelyn's at number one, Nayeli number two, Phineas three, Ken four, and Alessa five. So, everyone thinks Alessa has the least chance of winning. And everyone seems to think that Evelyn's going to win. So, let's head over to Delaney and see if she also thinks the same. So, Delaney, you need to get at least one point in this round to win a stuff pack. And the final question is... Who has the most chance and who has the least chance of winning Big Brother? Everly has the most chance of winning. Ken has the least chance of winning. And you guessed Everly correctly. So, therefore, the house have won a stuff pack. Well done, Delaney. You have redeemed yourself. And on to the immunity part of the challenge. What you didn't realise is that throughout this, I was adding up their total scores. So whoever got a one, got one point. If you got a five, you got five points. And whoever has the least points overall will gain immunity this week. So in fifth place, with 27 points, if I've counted that correctly, is Nayeli. 
in fourth place with 22 points is Phineas. In third, well, in joint third place, we have Ken and Everly. And in first place with 18 points. Oh, they had 19 points, by the way. Uh, and in first place is Alessa with 18 points. So Alessa has won immunity from eviction this week. So the four of a housemates will be facing eviction this week. So Everly, Nayeli, Phineas and Ken, you are all facing eviction this week. So they can carry on with the rest of their day. Let's send them back into the house. I think Alessa's happy. She's just going straight back into the house. The rest of them are just chilling in the task room. So, Alessa had a lucky escape there, considering people think she's the most likely to be nominated and has the least chance of winning. Uh, the poll will be open on Twitter. It will be a bit of a longer poll than normal because, obviously, there's more housemates that are up. It'll be a lot more interesting because it's not just a two-way. It's a, a four-way poll. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's see what the housemates are getting up to now. I think Nayeli's congratulating on Alessa on getting immunity this week. I wonder how Alessa feels about that, knowing that, like, no one thinks that she's going to win the competition, though. I think everyone's disappeared outside. Oh, I think Ken's congratulating Alessa on getting immunity. Oh, bless. She's so happy that she's still in. At least she can, like, freely flirt now. Like, now the tables have turned, you know, Ken could be the one going, now unless is staying. And how's he feeling? He's feeling confident, though. And a little bit flirty. <gasps> oh, they're all close to each other. I feel like here's your chance to finally, like, tell Alessa how you really feel. Looks like it's going well. Oh, he's so happy that she's staying. That's super cute. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Oh, my God. And they've kissed. They've kissed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so cute. They finally kissed. How, that has taken, what, like, 16 or 17 days? And I think Delaney may have witnessed it. She's totally, like, telling him, like, good on you, mate. Oh, my God. They kissed. That's amazing. Oh, she's so happy. Oh. I think Delaney's so happy for them. Look. Oh. She's been rooting for them too for ages. Oh, my God. That's, like, amazing. I don't even know how I can top off this episode. Um, yeah. I don't know how I can top off this episode. I'm going to have to end it here. Uh, don't forget that the polls are open already. I know it's earlier than normal. But, yeah, the polls are open. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. We are shocked by the kiss. Are you happy it happened? Um, are you happy for who's up? Do you think someone else other than Alessa should have had immunity? Um, yeah. Don't forget to hit the notification button as well so you know when the next episode is out. And I will see all of you beautiful, amazing, fabulous people next time. Take care. Bye.